Romania's packaging industry is undergoing a period of significant transformation. The dual pressures of the European Union's environmental targets and the national government's ambition to modernize waste management practices have led to the implementation of new regulations. These regulations aim to increase recycling rates and reduce the environmental impact of packaging waste. At the forefront of this change are two key systems. The Administratia Fondului Pentru Mediu, or AFM, and the Rituro Deposit Return System. These systems, while laudable in their environmental objectives, present a complex and often challenging landscape for packaging producers to navigate. This essay will delve into the intricacies of AFM and Rituro, exploring the challenges they pose to Romanian packaging producers and highlighting the financial and operational burdens they create. We will also examine how companies are adapting to these new regulations and provide expert opinions on the potential future developments in this evolving landscape. The AFM, Romania's Environmental Fund Administration, enforces environmental regulations. It operates under the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change. It collects contributions from companies that package or sell products. These funds finance environmental projects and awareness campaigns. Rituro manages the deposit return system for beverage packaging. Consumers get reimbursed when they return empty packaging. This system promotes recycling and a circular economy. The implementation of AFM contributions and the Rituro deposit return system has placed a significant financial burden on packaging producers in Romania. Producers are now required to pay both AFM contributions, calculated based on packaging weight, and Rituro deposits for each unit of beverage packaging. This dual obligation has led to increased production costs, impacting profit margins and competitiveness, particularly for small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs. Furthermore, the administrative burden of complying with both systems is substantial. Producers need to navigate complex registration processes, track packaging quantities meticulously, and fulfill reporting obligations to both AFM and Rituro. This often requires additional resources and expertise, adding to the overall financial strain. Beyond the financial implications, the coexistence of AFM and Rituro presents significant operational challenges for packaging producers. The need to comply with two separate systems, each with its own set of rules, regulations and reporting requirements creates a complex and demanding operational landscape. Producers must adapt their production processes, labelling systems and supply chains to meet the specific requirements of both AFM and Rituro. For instance, producers need to ensure that their packaging is labelled correctly to indicate both the AFM contribution category and the Rituro deposit value. This often requires redesigning packaging labels or using additional labeling materials, adding complexity and cost to the production process. Moreover, producers need to coordinate with their distributors and retailers to ensure the smooth implementation of the Rituro system, including the handling of returned packaging and the reimbursement of deposits. Section 5. Industry Voices Experts Weigh in on the challenges. Industry experts have expressed concerns about the challenges posed by the simultaneous implementation of AFM and Rituro. They argue that the dual system creates unnecessary complexity and administrative burdens for producers particularly for small and medium-sized enterprises that may lack the resources and expertise to navigate this complex landscape effectively. 
there are calls for greater harmonization between the two systems to simplify compliance procedures and reduce the administrative burden on producers. Furthermore, experts point out that the financial burden of AFM contributions and Rituro deposits could lead to increased prices for packaged goods, ultimately impacting consumers. They emphasize the need for government support to mitigate these costs and prevent negative consequences for both producers and consumers. Section 6. Adapting to survive. How companies are coping. Despite the challenges, Romanian packaging producers are demonstrating resilience and adaptability in the face of these new regulations. Companies are investing in new technologies and processes to improve their environmental performance and meet the requirements of AFM and Rituro. Some are opting for more sustainable packaging materials, such as recycled content or biodegradable plastics, to reduce their environmental footprint and lower their AFM contributions. Others are implementing advanced tracking and reporting systems to streamline their compliance processes and minimize administrative burdens. Collaboration is also emerging as a key coping mechanism. Producers are engaging in dialogue with industry associations environmental organisations and government agencies to seek clarification on regulations, share best practices and advocate for policies that support both environmental sustainability and industry competitiveness. Section 7. Case Study A closer look at the struggles. Let's examine a hypothetical case study of a small Romanian company Ambalaje Local, producing cardboard packaging for the food industry. Before AFM and Rituro, Ambalaje Local had a stable market position. New regulations brought unforeseen difficulties. They had to invest in new equipment and register with Rituro. The administrative burden strained their limited staff. These costs and economic uncertainty strained Ambalaje Local's profitability. Section 8. The Road Ahead – Future Developments and Potential Solutions The Romanian government recognises the challenges faced by packaging producers and is taking steps to improve the implementation and coordination of AFM and Rituro. There are ongoing discussions to streamline administrative procedures, harmonise reporting requirements and provide clearer guidelines for producers. The government is also exploring financial incentives to encourage investment in sustainable packaging technologies and support SMEs in their transition to a more circular economy. Looking ahead, it is crucial to find a balance between environmental sustainability and the economic viability of the packaging industry. While the objectives of AFM and Rituro are commendable, their implementation needs to be continuously evaluated and adjusted to minimise negative impacts on producers, particularly SMEs. This includes simplifying administrative procedures, providing financial and technical support and promoting innovation in sustainable packaging solutions.